a group of black friends go to a cabin in the woods and then they are attacked by a killer and then they must use everything that they know about life and blackness to survive. Do they? Come see the movie. <laughs> I was sent the short and it was like a really, really funny scene which we kept in the movie. And it was like them arguing about who's the blackest. Empty out your bags and whoever has hot sauce is the blackest. That's it, it's done. And like while their lives were being threatened and, and it took itself seriously but also didn't in a way that I just like loved, I loved the tone of it. So I cold emailed the team behind it and then within a couple of days, I was on the phone with Dwayne, and I was like, I love it, can I adapt it? Like, can I partner with you guys and like make a movie? And luckily, Dwayne said yes, and yeah. See, absolutely. And then we did. <laughs> and, and when we were working on it, uh, Tim and uh, Tracy were producers, and then when Tim read the script, he was like, oh, I actually, would love to make this, which is perfect because I started this journey with him. So it felt very much like my father being like, I'll come do it, son. <laughs> and, um, so I'm so glad he's a part of this. I love you, Timothy. <laughs> because Tim fosters this beautiful environment of collaboration where everyone could be themselves individually and everyone just kind of trusted everyone to bring their best self to the table. Like it wasn't, there wasn't a weird ego kind of a thing happening. It was just like a really, like having a director that fosters an environment of collaboration is just so beautiful because we all got to be ourselves. I started writing mostly because as an actor, there was not many parts that I felt like really embodied the work that I wanted to do. And so to be able to write this part and then act in it, truly a dream. Uh, and so I'm just grateful that like that, that I was allowed to and like it all worked out in a way to where I'm now in this movie that I wrote. It's it's truly wild. Yeah, <laughs> See, like, yeah, it's yeah. like a sketch cool. to like a movie at TIFF. Like, what? <laughs> it's so well written, it's insightful. Um, the fact that we're having a conversation about the black experience, but not excluding anyone. We're just kind of being ourselves, unapologetically black, but also showing the world who we are and not necessarily trying to pander to anyone. It's it's really beautiful how they decided to write these relationships as well. Like you usually you don't get a chance to see black joy and and people have a tendency to want to like digest trauma porn if that makes sense. But it's just so beautiful to see us have these joyful moments but then also come together and have terrifying bite of your nails <laughs> like edge of your seat kind of moments that are hilarious and just fun and great, all of it. When Bringing Down the House came out, a lot of people had something to say about Queen Latifah's character, right? Which I feel it's because a lot of black people, we are not a monolith, which we discuss in the film, but I do believe that these black women do exist. So Shanika, someone who is, you know, a little more, um, you know, not as tailored as the other characters, you know, like she comes from like a different part. She's like very fun, very loud, like, I think Shanika was really fleshed out and was a three-dimensional human. Mm -hmm. She was not a one-trick pony, and I think that's because that's why we need black people to write these types of characters. Put somebody in that situation who has already experienced that situation. Mm -hmm. Like, as black people, there's horrors that we experience in life. Making that pivot to horror for me felt natural because I was like, oh, it's kind of like comedy where you're just keeping it, the pace is like up the entire time. And I just felt like it was kind of a natural like evolution for me. I've always loved horror and I've always just really enjoyed the genre. Laugh and screams come from the same place. Mm -hmm. And it's all manipulation. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like creating these situations to try to elicit a reaction from the people watching. And now I'm obsessed with manipulating <laughs> the audiences. Yeah.